In this video, I will go over how I managed to change the individual objects' light maps and light probes at runtime, as shown in the video, which can be downloaded for your use in the link below. The method I use here is based on storing the light probes data and texture maps of different baking results of a Unity scene in a scriptable object. After that, I can then apply them to small segments of the scene at runtime, as shown in the video. To get started, I make the different lighting setups I want for my scene, generate the light maps and light probe data, and store them in a scriptable object I've called alternative lighting data. How I do this will be covered later in the video, but for now, I'll continue to go on how this works. The different textures and light probe settings are stored on the alternative light manager script, shown here. Here is one of the rooms in my scene. In its mesh render, you can see it has a light map index set to zero. The index it's referring to can be found in Bait Lightings in the Lighting tab. You can see the texture that zero is referring to, and that there's only one texture here at the moment. At one time, the light map index of an object can be changed, but as there's nothing for it to change into, there's no valid result. This is where the alternative light manager comes in. I can't edit the saved light data of the scene to add more textures. So instead, when the level starts up, the manager makes a new light map data array and adds our stored texture maps to it. Then it overrides the default light map data with our new one. If you look at the baked light maps now, you will see there are multiple textures. And if we change the index on our objects, it will now show different results. That's the static object sorted, but we still need to update the light probes so our non-static objects can match the changed light maps. Light probes handle this end of things. In my example, the objects that call to change light map each contain an int array that has a list of the different indexes of the light probes in the scene that I want to change when I change the light map textures of the object, seen as the yellow dots on the screen here. Light probes, colors, and intensities can be accessed in the script in the light map settings, light probes, as baked probes. Baked probes is an array of variables called spherical harmonics O2. When making the lighting variants on the scene, I copied the baked probes information and stored them. The manager has the full list of these different baked probes setups. When I want to change the light probes, I simply go through the list of specific probes I want to change, copy over the settings from the stored baked probes I want, and use them and apply them to the current scene. Using this method, we change both the light maps of a specific object and select its light probes to match at runtime, giving us the effect of swapping light maps in real time. How complex you want the results to be is simply up to how many variants you are willing to make. Here I'll quickly go through the steps of using the tools I have made in my example project that you can use to set up a new scene. First, make your different lighting setups. Here I have static lights for a dark version of the scene and a bright version of the scene. Then, as shown here, create your alternative lighting data assets for each variant you want to make. This is where we will store the light probe's data and links to the matching textures. After this, generate the lighting for the first variant you want of your scene. Open the tool I've made called Get Alternative Lighting Data at the top and use it to copy this scene's light probes to the appropriate alternative lighting data. Now go to the folder that contains the light maps for this scene. Duplicate them and move them to a different folder. Make sure you're using the duplicates and not the originals since these would be overwritten when you generate your other variants of the scene. Select the alternative lighting data asset you're using and put the relevant textures you've just made into the right slots. Repeat the last few steps for the different light variants you want for your scene. Now that we've made the variant lighting setups for our scene, we need to make it so our scene can use them. Make an empty object called Alternative Lights Manager and add the Alternative Lights Manager script to it. Put the alternative lighting data that you want to use in the light states array and then press the Sync Scene Data button to load the data to the scene. With that, the scene's ready to use the different light maps and probes. Now we need to get an object set up. 
Add the alternative bay to light to the object you want to change the light maps on. Click Edit Linked Probes and use the basic tool I've made to add the light probes you want to this object. With that, we're ready, press play and click on the object to see the changes. So there we go, adding different light maps to the scene's index and changing the light maps of objects and light probes at one time. Hopefully this helps anyone who wants to do this in Unity. I've put a link below to where you can download the example project I've made in the video so you can get started and see the coding I've done behind the scenes. If you enjoyed this video, check out some of my other videos like light maps in 9 minutes and should you use Wilt Motion. If you want to help me out, like, subscribe, follow my Twitter to see more regular updates on my game dev work. I'm currently working on my fourth commercial game, the full version of my detective game Bots and Robbers, so keep an eye on my Twitter to see how that's developing. If you want to see some more of my past game jams and some of my commercial releases, check out my itch.io page to see games like Vampire Heist. Anyway, that's advertising done. I've been Lorcan of Birdmar Studio. Thank you for watching and stay tuned for more in the future. Goodbye.